Are you new to Facebook ads and you want to understand better how a Facebook pixel would work? In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can use a Facebook pixel to grow your business, acquire more customers, and also make more sales. Coming up. <laughs> Hello Tycoons, this is Fibolem, your internet marketing coach. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you grow your business online. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so that every time we publish new videos, you're gonna get notified. Before we begin, I want to invite you to my masterclass. Can you visit this link, fibolim.com slash class? I'm gonna give you a free seat where I'm gonna teach you, share with you how you can grow your business, acquire prospects and leads online and convert them into paying customers without actually talking to them in person. I'm going to give you a free ticket for this event. I want you to visit this link, fibolim.com slash class. So now, how does a Facebook pixel work? Okay, most probably you, you might hear this, especially uh, bago ka pa lang sa Facebook ads and you have a lot of questions na mag-work ba ito kahit wala akong website, mag-work ba ito kahit wala akong ganito. So what I'm gonna do is uh, before I share my screen, I'm gonna help you understand better on how um, a Facebook pixel would work. Okay, So Facebook pixel is kind of like a line of code that uh, you attach to your sites, to your funnels, to your website. Okay, Mangyari kasi nito is... Facebook can only track, without a Facebook pixel, ah, Facebook can only track the activity of your users sa Facebook platform lang. So, when they're using Facebook, lahat ng videos, lahat ng image, lahat ng mga links na kiniklik nila, tsaka like nila ng mga pages, natatrack yun lahat ni Facebook. Now, the thing is, when the user goes out of Facebook, Facebook cannot track already the user activity. So what we're gonna do is we're getting this line of code. Uh, yung gagawin lang natin noon is ikakopy tapos ipipaste. So kun kukunin na natin ni Facebook no. We're gonna copy a, a line of code and we're gonna paste that on our website or on our sales funnel or our web page. Okay, we're gonna paste that. And now it's kind of like nagbibigay tayo ng telepono uh, sa mga websites natin so that if ever even if hindi sila gumagamit sa ng Facebook Facebook will understand how your visitors are working, how your visitors are performing. It's kind of like this, no? Let's say uh, this is Facebook, okay? Okay, and let's say this is your website. So let's let's just put uh, website dito. So again, without this Facebook pixel, hindi sila, they cannot talk with each other. So what we're doing is we're getting this line of code and then we're putting it here, okay? So uh, itong line of code, meron ng ito yung pixel natin. So by the way, when you put this, you don't have to be a coder, programmer, designer. Technically, copy-paste lang siya. Okay? So, now we're, we're, we're putting that pixel para the all the information, so meron, let's say si John, okay, nag-visit sa site mo, lahat ng information ni John will be sent to Facebook and that will help Facebook analyze uh, the your campaigns better. Okay? Let, later on, I'm gonna share with you exactly how it works, no? But the point nyan is if you're telling Facebook, Facebook, I want more sales, I want more conversions. Okay? So now pag may bibili, malalaman kahit kahit yung bibili wala sa Facebook, kahit bibili lang siya sa in your own sites, for example, alam ni Facebook nyan. So face so your website is sending data to Facebook para ma understand better. So let's say uh, ten people already uh, bought your product, so you have already ten buyers. Okay? So etong ten buyers, etong mga data na yon is sent to ni Facebook and Facebook will analyze the similarities of these 10 buyers. So now, since you have these 10 buyers, Facebook will look for your 11th, 12th, 13th, 15th, 16th, 17th, etc. buyer. And now, as more data and more data, na, nagkakamura yung tinatawag natin na cost per purchase or yung cost natin in running ads. It's, it becomes uh, lower and lower and lower kasi... Uh, mas nagigets na ni Facebook, ah, ito, ito pala yung market na hinahanap mo. Nagigets ba? So, the reason why having this Facebook pixel is important because it it gives data to Facebook which helps analyze kung tama ba if you're, if you're getting prospects, by the way. So, you have like 50 prospects na nakolect mo. That 50, 50 prospects will be given to Facebook and Facebook will use that data to analyze your next and next and next move. Okay, next prospect, uh, your next sale, etc. So the thing is, you might be asking, no? Um, so, paano ba talaga ito nag-work? Okay, I'm gonna give an example. So let's say, 
in, in for simplicity purposes, uh, what we use kasi if we use the pixel for leads and sales. Uh, let's start first with leads. So if you're gonna notice that you need parang kinda like two pages here, okay? So here's the thing. Before that, uh, a lot of people have been asking, kailan mo ba ng website or funnel to para attach yung Facebook pixel? So the answer is yes. You can create naman a Facebook pixel, pero useless yung pixel na yun kasi para siyang telepono. So kinuha mo yung telepono ni Facebook, pero maging useless siya pag wala kang lalagyan. So kailangan mo siya lalagyan, okay? Uh, and you can only put this pixel to the sites that you control. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng ilagay sa Lazada, or sa Amazon, or somewhere na hindi ka kontrolado. So, usually, sarili mong website or funnel siya. Okay? So, you copy and then you paste this into your own funnels or into your own website. For example, Wix, ClickFunnels, Kartra, Kajabi, for example. Basta marami. Uh, search mo lang, no? Landing page software or website software. Search mo lang dyan. So, ngayon, usually, ito yung, ito yung leads, ha? So, lagay mo na natin leads. Okay. So, now, what happens is, ito yung visitors natin. Okay. They visit your site. Okay. Which is, this is what you call your uh, capture page. So, here we get the name and email of your prospect. Okay. So, we get the email address. Sabihin natin, we get their email address. And now, when they click submit, they will be redirected dito sa kabilang page na to. And this page is what you call the thank you page. Okay. So, mangyayari is yung Facebook pixel actually nandito sa capture page and also sa thank you page. So, natatrack yung visitors. Okay, now, what we do is we put a special code para siyang event code and then we put it dito sa thank you page na to and then we label it as a lead. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, everybody that lands on the thank you page, ibig sabihin ng thank you page para siyang confirmation na successful yung pag-submit mo sa email, everybody that lands on the thank you page, matatrack siya as a lead. Okay? Kasi technically, maglaland ka lang ng thank you page pag uh, successful yung pag-submit mo sa email address mo or your or your contact information. So now, uh, if 100 people will land on your thank you page, ibig sabihin you will have 100 leads. And you're gonna see that in your Facebook dashboard na okay, pero 100 leads at matatrack ni, ni Facebook yan. Another would be purchases. No? And this is like the top uh, things that we use. So, first it usually before sila magbayad, merong checkout page. So, ito yung checkout. So, of course, buy sila through PayPal or bank transfer, whatever. And then, syempre, this is like our traffic or our visitors. And then, after that, pag successful yung payment, saan ba pupunta? Okay? Mapupunta ulit dito sa thank you page na to. So, dito sa thank you page, thank you page is para siyang confirmation na successful yung payment mo. And of course, meron ding pixel sa checkout saka sa thank you page. Pero we're gonna put a uh, parang event na pixel. Event na parang special na code. And then we're gonna label this as purchase. Okay, so now everybody that lands on this page will be tracked ni Facebook as a purchase. Okay? And if so if 10 buyers landed on this page, you will you magre-reflect yan sa Facebook ads mo na merong 10 buyers. Okay, so Maganda siya because again, the purpose of this Facebook pixel is yung Facebook kasi is like a artificial intelligence. So, kumbaga, para siyang bata na over time nag-learn, nag-learn, nag-learn siya. So, talagang nagiging asset siya kasi the more data na fini-feed mo ni Facebook using your Facebook pixel, na dito yung advantage ah. Because without a Facebook pixel, hindi ka makapag-feed ng data outside your Facebook ad account, no? So, Fini-feed mo ng data, feed ka ng data, feed ka ng data, and ito yung tinatawag na maturity ng pixel. Nagmamature siya, so nag lumalaki. Nang lumalaki yung pixel, uh, dadating yung point na kahit wala kang targeting, <laughs> marunong na yung yung pixel mo maghanap ng mga customers para sa'yo. So, nagiging parang robot siya na gumagalaw siya for you kasi ina-analyze niya yung data mo as the time goes by. Okay? So, of course, when you're getting started, hindi mo siya ma-appreciate. Pero the more you feed more data with it, lumalaki, nagmamature siya, and then darating yung point na talagang magiging ano na siya, best friend. Okay? So, ayun. Once again, if you want me to show you exactly how you can implement this in your business, I want to invite you in my masterclass. Kindly visit this link right now where I'm gonna show you how do you acquire leads and prospects in your business and convert them into paying customers without actually talking to them in person. I'm gonna give you a free seat, so go ahead, register for that right now.
question of the day. Based sa diniscuss natin, what is your understanding of the Facebook Pixel? I wanna know if naintindihan nyo ba and if you have any further questions about the Facebook Pixel, go ahead, let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, kindly click subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you're gonna get notified every time we publish videos just like this. Until next time, this is Fibo Lim. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode.